the inequities are here and now. And anybody who's been in a hospital recently that's African-American or, uh, you know, a Latinx can attest to that. I'm sure there are many examples. Right. So um, that is something once you at least can recognize the problem. I'm not talking about us because we this is just the latest example right. of disparity. I'm right. talking about the larger system. Well, at least there can be the beginning of trying to resolve it. But I, I want to make the point, uh, Mr. Ellis, that, uh, as I said, COVID is the latest example, but COVID interacts with all of those structural and social determinants of health that really account for 80% of health outcomes. So, you know, mental health is one of them. I was in clinic this morning. People are really struggling. Well, what if you have issues with mental health? Well, that affects your immune system. If your blood pressure is not well controlled because you know what, the pharmacy is, you know, three miles away and it's not open. Well, that affects your immunity. The food that you eat, the stress that you have, all of these other factors stack up and put COVID is just sort of can be the proverbial final straw.